we'll get 2014 number 5. So here we have uh, twice differentiable functions, f and g, uh, defined on these values right over here. Now find the x-coordinate of uh, each relative minimum of f, uh, f. Now how would you find the relative minimum? In case of a, relative minimum is first uh, we realize that f prime has to go from uh, positive, uh, I mean, a negative to positive. That's basically what we're looking at. Then in this case, do we see uh, negative to positive? Yes, we see negative. F prime goes from negative to positive. It happens when x equals 1. So we realize that x has to be equal to 1. And then of course, uh, f prime of 1 is 0 also satisfies the condition as well. Now let's look at part B. Explain why there must be value C where uh, from negative 1 to 1 where second derivative of uh, second derivative of uh, on, on value C is equal to 0. Now this one is by the mean value theorem. Now since we, we want to write this one down here I guess since f prime of x is differentiable, because in the beginning it says it was twice differentiable, which also implies it's continuous. And then we know that f prime of negative 1 minus f prime of 1 over uh, negative 1 minus 1 is in fact equal to 0. Therefore, by mean value theorem, there is C, where F double prime of C is equal to 0, where uh, C is greater than negative 1 but less than 1. That's basically what we can say. Now, Part C. And don't forget, in this case, when this is differentiable, then it implies the continuity uh, as well. Uh, the function h is defined as in h of x is equal to ln of f of x. Now they want you to find this one. So then, since h of x is equal to ln of f of x, so that means h prime of x must be equal to 1 over f of x times f prime of x, but when x is equal to 3, then we get 1 over f of 3 times f prime of 3, so let's look at those values, f of 3 is 7 and f prime of 3 is 1 half, so we get 1 over 7 times 1 half, we get 1 over 14. That becomes our answer. Let's look at part D. Part D is, uh, they want us to uh, integrate this one. Uh, negative 2 to 3 f prime of g of x and then g prime of x dx. All right, so then in this case, uh, I'm going to let u equals g of x. Then we know that g of uh, u is equal to g prime of x dx. So what we can do is, uh, this will be now equal to f prime of u. And then du. And then uh, the lower boundary is equal to when x equals negative 2 for g. So when x equals negative 2, for g which is equal to negative 1 and then uh, 3 then it becomes 1 here so by the fundamental theorem of calculus you know that this one is in fact equal to f of 1 minus f of negative 1 f of 1 equals 
2 and f of negative 1 equals 8. So we get 2 minus 8, which becomes negative 6. That becomes our final answer. Alrighty. With that one, we are done for this question. I'll see you later.